What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and as is customary on this channel, I'm gonna be showing you the new iOS update in a speed comparison test. So in this video, iOS 9.3 beta one versus iOS 9.2. 9.2 being the firmware that came along and was buttery smooth, it fixed almost every issue I had with iOS 9. How can iOS 9.3 compare? That's my question. So in this video, I'm gonna be running a number of tests on every device that currently runs iOS 9 at the moment. The 5C will not be included because it has the same processing power as the iPhone 5. But otherwise, let's see, how does iOS 9.3 compare to 9.2 speed-wise? And take note, this is a beta at the moment, so this will not give a full representative view of the full firmware. 9.2 ran really slow in beta stage, but was very, very smooth in the final result. But before I get into that, there are a few iOS 9.3 features I wanted to share that I have it in my last video. So I accidentally missed them and I wanted to go back and show you them. There are actually several cool ones. So the weather application also has 3D touch and I didn't show that in my last video. So it'll have the most recent or where you're located and then the other ones you have right there. Also the health application, it'll show dashboard and medical ID. If you take a live photo using a 6S or 6S Plus, if you actually go into that photo, you will now have an option to export it just as a photo. So using the duplicate option in the share settings, you can easily export it just as a still photo instead of a live photo. In the wallet application, all of your tabs will actually have the app they belong to in the bottom left right now. So you can go ahead and click on that and it'll take you to that app right away. So there are three new Siri languages. Those would be Malaysian, Malay, Hebrew, and Finnish. So awesome, getting smarter and smarter every software update. Now, as we know with 3D Touch on 6S and 6S Plus, you can get into the app switch from the side. However, in this latest update, the moment you peek into the app switcher, you will feel a vibration. Now that vibration was only there previously when you would pop into it just like that. Now you get a vibration on peak and on a pop. In iBooks, there is now iCloud. So you can go ahead and export your own EPUB files or PDF into the cloud and sync them across to all of your other devices. And the last one, in the news application, you can go ahead and swipe and get these options to like, save, share, swipe the other way, it'll dislike, mute the channel, or report the actual news source. So really cool. Just a bunch of new features that I didn't share with you in my last video, but in that video, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. iOS 9.3 is awesome and jam-packed with new features. So, all right, enough with the features, let's get to the speed. So on the left is the newer firmware being 9.3, on the right, 9.2. We've got the three oldest devices in a startup battle, starting in three, two, one. And these are all lined up on the same power source. So it's not a very scientific test, but you know, a speed test does generally say a lot about the overall speed of the device. So I'm curious to see out of these, which is faster. And iOS 9.2 stays the fastest by several seconds on the iPhone 5S. iOS 9.2 is still faster on the iPhone 5 by a good five seconds. And iOS 9.3 is actually faster than 9.2 on the 4S by about a second, two seconds. Same deal on the iPhone 6 and 6S models. Starting up in 2, 1. It's close, ooh, 9.2 is faster on both, wow. So um, yeah, point has been made, 9.3 is not faster in the startup test. Now the sad thing about the iPhone 4S on iOS 9.3 is that it does not get that awesome feature with the dimmability, basically f.lux. Sad that it doesn't get it, but performance wise probably makes sense. So usability, let's, uh, let's see how 9.3 compares. Spotlight. Wow, <laughs> abysmally bad, but faster on 9.3. One, two. Wow. <laughs> so uh, the app switcher is horribly slow on both. Really, maybe Apple really shouldn't have put iOS 9 in here, but I will defend it till the end. I'm still glad Apple keeps it current. And App Store. 9.2 loaded it several seconds faster. Settings. About the same. Camera. So 9.2 was faster on the 4S. iPhone 5, spotlight, slow. Two app switcher, about the same. App store, about the same. Settings, same. So performance wise, in the user interface, not seeing much of a difference here on older devices. 5S, on two. Ooh, so 9.2 is still faster 
9.3 is faster for spotlight search. About the same for settings. App Store is faster, so I'm definitely seeing a pattern here. And camera is a little bit faster, 9.3 iPhone 6. Spotlight, about the same. Switcher, 9.2 was faster. App Store, 9.2. And last device, the 6S, 9.3. Uh, Spotlight's faster, 1, 2. App Switcher is slower on 9.3. Settings, same. App Store, 9.2 is faster. All right, enough of that. Uh, let's go ahead and get a Geekbench going in here and uh, see number-wise how the performance stacks up. All right, so here are the results of the Geekbench. iOS 9.3 versus 9.2 on the 4S, 5, 5S, and 6 in single core score was marginally, marginally better. Otherwise, there's almost no difference and iOS 9.2 still performed better. And as a bonus, I threw in the Wi-Fi speed test. It's funny, on all devices except the 5S, iOS 9.3 performed very, very poorly in the Wi-Fi department. All right, so there you guys go. iOS 9.3, not looking very good so far. I'm a little disappointed because it seemed snappier to me, but when I actually put it down and tested it, not so much. Hopefully the performance will improve. Again, this is a beta, it's to be expected. I will keep you guys updated on the final release and I will post a full speed test once that's out as well. Have a great day guys. Enjoy iOS 9.3 if you do decide to upgrade. It's an awesome, awesome firmware. Peace.